Welcome back to our math lessons. We will continue our lesson review of basic operations. Our objective here is to learn how to multiply or divide whole numbers. First, we will begin with multiplication. Multiplication, we use some symbols to denote this operation these symbols this cross or just a large dot or a star like in computers or sometimes we don't use any symbol but just we put the two numbers between parentheses without a symbol between them for example 3 times 4 can be written also 3 times 4 or 3 times 4 or 3 times 4 we can ask you to do multiplication by some words like multiply or find the product let us give you some examples on that example 1 multiply 932 times 4 to do this operation we write it vertically so it's 932 times 4 we start multiplying 4 with every digit in the first number so 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 3 is 12 we put 2 and we have 1 in the hand 4 times 9 is 36 plus 1 it is 37 and our final answer is 3728 let us take now example 2 find the product of 358 and 18 in the same way we will write the operation vertically we will start multiplying 8 with every digit in the first number so 8 times 8 is 64 we will put 4 and 6 up here 8 times 5 is 40 40 plus 6 is 46 so we will put 6 and we have 4 up here 8 times 3 is 24 plus 4 it is 28 now we will start multiplying the tens so we must put our answers starting from the tens not to make any mistake here we advise students to put a zero under the ones and then we will start multiplying one with every digit of the first number now again one times eight is eight one times five is five one times three is three last step is to add these two answers and our final answer is going to be four plus zero is four 6 plus 8 is 14 1 in the hand 1 plus 8 9 plus 5 14 another one on the hand 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 is 6 the final answer is 6444 example 3 multiply 5471 times 263 
start multiplying the ones first three times one is three three times seven twenty one six three times four twelve plus two fourteen three times five is fifteen plus one sixteen now we will start multiplying the tens first we will put a zero here six times one is six six times seven forty two six times four twenty four plus four twenty eight six times five is thirty plus two it's thirty two now we will start multiplying the hundreds but first we will put two zeros so we will begin putting the answer starting from the hundreds two times one is two two times seven is fourteen one in the hand two times four is eight plus one nine two times five is ten now let us find the final answer by adding these three answers and three seven eight eighteen thirteen four one and the final answer is one million four hundred thirty eight thousand eight hundred seventy three now let us go to the other operation which is division symbols used for this operation are or this slash or the line of the fraction or this symbol let us see an example 24 divided by 3 can be written as 24 over 3 or 24 over 3 or we can write it 24 divided by 3 24 if we want to divide it by 3 we know that the answer is 8 and 8 times 3 is 24 if we subtract these two answers we have a zero this number here we call it the dividend and this one here we call it the divisor and the answer we have got from our division we call it the quotient and this number here is the remainder to do division we will go through four steps these steps of division are first you must divide second multiply then you must subtract and the last step is to bring down the number these steps we use it in the long division let us give you an example on that example one divide 115 by 7 we put the dividend here and the divisor in this place then we start dividing from the left 1 divided by 7 we can't do that because 1 is less than 7 so we put a 0 now take the other number the tens with it it will be 11 11 divided by 7 the answer is 
one. Now we have done the first step, which is dividing. Now multiply one times seven. Multiply the answer you have got with seven. The answer is seven. Now we have done multiplication. Third step, subtract 11 minus 7. This will give you 4. Now we have done the third step. Last step, get down 5 beside 4. It will be 45. Now we have done the fourth step. Go away and start again the first step it's a loop so 45 divided by 7 this will give us 6 because 6 times 7 is 42 subtract them you will have 3 and we don't have any more numbers to bring down beside 3 the answer is 16 and the remainder is 3. Let us give you another example. Find the quotient 4, 534 divided by 24. Again, we will do the four steps with a long division 5 divided by 24 we will we can't do it so we will put a 0 35 divided by 24 the answer is 2 because 2 times 24 is 48 subtract 13 minus 8 is 5 and 4 minus 4 is 0. Now bring 4 down here. 54 divided by 24 it's also 2. 2 times 24 is 48. Subtract you will have 14 minus 8. This will give you 6 and 4 minus 4 is 0. Our answer is 22 with a remainder 6. A final example divide 15,648 by 36. Let us do it again. 1 divided by 36. It is impossible. 15 divided by 36. Also, we can't do it. Still smaller than 36. Let us take 6 with it. 156 divided by 36. If you feel that this is difficult, you can do something. Just hide the ones of 156. You will have 15. And hide the ones of 36. You will have 3. So just to approximate our answer, we will say 15 divided by 3. It is 5. Just before writing your answer, go and check if it is an appropriate answer to check that 5 times 6 is 30 5 times 3 is 30. 15 plus 3 is 18 we have 180 180 is larger than 156 so we shouldn't choose 5 let us choose a number smaller than 5 let us try 4. 4 times 6, 24. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2, 14. 
I think that 144 is less than 156 so it is the number we are looking for now second step multiply 4 times 36 we found it 144 now subtract you will have 6 minus 4 is 2 5 minus 4 is 1 and then let us bring 4 down 124 divided by 36 let us hide 4 we have 12 let us hide 6 we have 3 12 divided by 3 it is 4 it is larger than 124 so let us try multiplying by 3 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 108 this is more appropriate for us so we will choose 3 and the answer after multiplying is 108 let us subtract now 14 minus 8 is 6 and 1 comes down it is 16 now bring 8 down 168 divided by 36 I think it's clear that the most appropriate number for us is 4 because 4 times 36 is 144 now subtract you will have here 24 and nothing to bring down again and the answer is 434 with a remainder 24 by this we reach the end of our lesson thanks